here in Steamboat at the Lowell Whiteman School, a college prep boarding and day school set at 7,000 feet. And I'm talking with four uh, Alpine student athletes, kids from all over the country who have chosen to come to Steamboat for a great education and the chance to train with the Steamboat Springs Winter Sports Club, one of the best sports clubs in the country. I'm Tori and I'm from New Hampshire. I'm Hans and I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm Brittany and I'm from Nederland, Colorado. I'm Nick from Tess, Mexico. <laughs> so how would you describe the balance at the Lowell Whiteman School between the academics and the athletics? It's a lot different than where I went to middle school where if you miss things you weren't able to make them up, you just got zeros. So it makes it so much easier for me here. I think the mix of academics and skiing and still being able to be up there in both helps a lot. Mm -hmm. It's something that you have to sacrifice in a lot of different schools. It's either you're a really good athlete or you're concentrating on academics and here it's very easy to like succeed in both. Well, obviously if you miss a lot of school you need to make it up at some point. <laughs> and so when you don't have that much time to make it up before uh, break, you do have to cram a little. So this week has been good cram. <laughs> but um, they definitely work with you. Like I had like a little too many tests like today and tomorrow and I worked with my teachers to like move a test to tomorrow instead of today because I wasn't prepped for it today. And they really, yeah, they work with you so that you don't fail. <laughs> yeah. The teachers, the school, the town, the ski club, like everything just meshes well. Mm -hmm. So it's a good balance. You're not just skiers, but you're not just students either. You yeah. feel like it's a balanced experience? It's also nice because like we're not, there's not only competitive athletes here. There's also kids who don't compete, so you, don't, you get like that mellowness of not so much competitiveness. What's that transition like been like for you coming from Midwest <coughs> to, to the Rockies as an Alpine racer? Uh, it's really not like, it's just, it's nice, honestly. Like it's just crazy skiing on mountains, going from these tiny little hills and I don't know, the coaches are just a lot more intense almost, like, and it's it's just a good feeling. <laughs> so you feel like you've improved as a skier? Yeah, yeah. tremendously. What's been a highlight for you uh, as skiers this year? Being a J2 champ. <laughs> <laughs> you won the Super G at Mammoth, right? Yeah. And you took third in the yes. Giant Slalom? By uh, 3.05, How did it feel being on that national stage? Did you feel like you were able to be competitive? Obviously, you were on the podium, but... You, you felt like you were holding yeah, your own? I mean, the entire girls' race was in three seconds. From first to last was between three seconds. And right. then, like, the top two. Yeah. And then also, there's still nationals this year, which would be good to place well. Yeah. Coming back from injury, I think probably just getting, like, that feeling on your skis again. Like, it's all starting to click now, a little bit late in the season, but I think it's all, like, coming back together, and I'm just excited to get... Like, have more races under my belt. Sure. Yeah, I love the coaches. They're really, like, helpful. They understood coming back from an injury, like, not to push too hard in certain spots, but then, like, different spots to really amp it up, and it was really helpful. Mm -hmm. Came back a lot faster than I was supposed to, so. Time on snow, it's crazy. I mean, I can be out there every day for a lot of hours and still get free runs at the end of the day, and training quality is insane. We get so many nice runs on nice courses okay. so insane in a good way yeah okay. <laughs> um and the coaches are always watching your runs watching your free skiing helping you out in every way and it's hard not to improve at a very fast pace <laughs> if there was a prospective um student athlete here and asking you questions what would you tell them they really need to know about choosing the Lowell Whiteman school for their academic and athletic high school career as long as you're passionate about skiing and school I feel like it's a really good fit it's really good to keep, like, the routine going. When you get in your routine of always, like, school and, like, being studious and always skiing, it gets you in a great pattern for, like, the whole year. So the intensity of it actually helps you on the hill. Yeah. Is what that sounds like a little bit, because you're just, you know you're going at, at full speed. Yeah. Unity. Like, you come back from a race and people know how you did, and um, Gina will be making announcements about people who you didn't even know they were competing that weekend, and their results and everyone really cares about what's going on and um, they want to help you out and they want to 